In other news, gas is expensive enough right now and only growing more so. And if you're not careful, you, your next tank could end up costing you even more. Matt King's live in studio with tonight's big story. When you pay for a tank of gas with a debit card, your bank doesn't know how much you plan to spend until you finish. So to ensure you have what you need to cover that purchase, the bank automatically sets aside a chunk of cash. Often that places a hold on your account, and if you aren't prepared, can unleash a cascade of fees. Pay with cash, and you don't need to watch this story. But if you ever bust out a debit card to fund your fuel, you could shell out a lot more than the 202 it takes to fill your tank. I think it's reprehensible. I think it's dirty. $57 of diesel nearly cost Kristen Frost a whole lot more. I don't trust using my debit card at the pump anymore. A day after Kristen filled up, her bank alerted her she'd spent more than she had. And I'm like, why did I go into overdraft? Because I, I had over $300 in my account. As soon as Kristen swiped her card, Pilot put a $500 hold on her debit account. That sum is extraordinary. Kristen did fill up at a diesel station, but unfortunately the hold is not. Many gas stations do this, including Costco and KG Grocery in Nampa, where a tank of gas paid for with a debit card results in a $99 hold fee. Only unlike other stations, if you don't have $99 in your account, KG's pumps won't take your card. You'll go to the pump. When customers switch to Idaho Central Credit Union, they often ask Nampa manager Cheryl Moore about overdrafting fees. Yeah. We'll authorize your transaction, but we won't hold the funds. That bank has none and ignores gas station holds. Unfortunately, it's in the minority. Especially nowadays when we're paying top dollar at the pump anyway. And since every bank, credit union, gas station, fuel provider, and fuel pump is different, there's only one sure way to completely avoid a hold leading to a bank fee. Pay inside. I also spoke with the Better Business Bureau today. Its chief concern was that banks were forthcoming about how and when their customers might incur an overdrafting fee. Kristen just said she wished she'd been told. Live in Studio Matt King, Fox 9 News at 9.